Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Prime Minister of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah. During the phone call, the importance of further expanding long standing bilateral ties, which are rooted in shared history and culture, was emphasized. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa delegated the commander of the National Guard, His Highness, Sheikh Jan, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, to inaugurate the National Guard forts in the presence of the Bahrain Defense Force Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and senior officers. Upon arrival, His Highness was received by the National Guard Chief of Staff, Major General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa. The band then played the national anthem. Then the National Guard Commander-in-Chief inspected the Guard of Honor. استاذنك يا صاحب المعالي بالتفتيش على طابور حرس وطني سي.
Verses from the Holy Quran were then recited. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا تحسبن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله أمواتا بل أحياء عند ربهم يرزقون فرحين بما آتاهم الله من فضله ويستبشرون ويستبشرون بالذين لم يلحقوا بهم من خلفهم ألا خوف عليهم ألا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون يستبشرون بنعمة من الله وفضل وأن الله وأن الله لا يضيع أجر المؤمنين صدق الله العظيم the commander of the capital's duty force battalion then delivered a speech in which he underscored the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Royal Guard, which has made it a comprehensive military force that protects the gains of the kingdom with high capabilities and military readiness. He added that the inauguration of the National Guard for Tel Farouk is part of the five year strategic plan created by the National Guard commander, which stems from the royal vision of His Majesty the King to raise the levels of competence and readiness of the military edifice. He also recalled the noble sacrifices of the kingdom's martyrs who gave their lives for their homeland. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest their soul in eternal peace. سيدي صاحب المعالي إن الأمر الملكي رقم 48 لسنة 2012 الصادر بتشكيل قوة عسكرية تحت اسم قوة واجب العاصمة وتضم وحدات من قوة دفاع البحرين والأمن العام والحرس الوطني يمثل امتدادا للرؤية الملكية السامية لتلبي الاستجابة السريعة في الدفاع عن محافظة العاصمة لحفظ أمن ومكتسبات مملكتنا الغالية سيدي صاحب المعالي لا ننسى في هذا اليوم أن نستذكر شهداءنا الأبرار الذين ضحوا بأرواحهم في سبيل العزة والكرامة دفاعا عن أرض الوطن من منتسبي قواتنا المسلحة أستأذنكم سيدي أن أدعوك الجميع لقراءة الفاتحة Following this speech, the attendees recited El Fatiha for the souls of the martyrs. During the ceremony, a short film about the National Guard fort was screened, which documented the historical connection of the fort with the historic forts of Bahrain, as its engineering design stems from the heritage and history of the kingdom's forefathers, making El Farouk Fort a symbol of military and security defense and strength. Injazat <laughs> al-Mudiyah. سطرها فكر حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى القائد الأعلى حفظه الله ورعاه في صفحات هذا الوطن الذي يشهد مسيرة تنموية ونهضة اقتصادية شاملة لجميع ميادين العمل الوطني رؤية ملكية ونظرة ثاقبة نحو المستقبل الذي يحمل في طياته ثمار ما تحقق من إنجازات في مسيرة العطاء والبناء للوطن وأجياله جاءت هذه الرؤية المباركة في بناء قلعة الحرس الوطني في القاطع الشمالي من المملكة لتحفظ هذه المسيرة وتذود عن منجزاتها وتشكل مع بواسلها درعا آمنا لقوات الأمن العام 
the National Guard, the Commander and the BDF Commander-in-Chief unveiled the commemorative plaque marking the inauguration of the National Guard Fort El Farouk, which is a joint security edifice with the Ministry of Interior. His Highness, Sheikh, uh, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa then toured the fort with its facilities that meet the requirements for military training and administration. In his speech, His Highness affirmed that the royal patronage of His Majesty the King is an extension of his continuous support to the Royal Guard since its establishment. He added that the fort was established in the heart of the capital governorate to become a security shield under a pillar in the national defense and security system with its advanced human and military capabilities and its high efficiency and readiness. He stated that Al Farouk was built according to the latest systems, systems and means of command and control to meet the various challenges and dangers that may threaten the homeland. He concluded by saying that the succession of the National Guard's achievements and the development of its capabilities are but a reflection of the vision of His Majesty the King. The Representatives Council held its weekly session chaired by its speaker, Fawziya Zainal. The council approved the issuing of the statement on the Arab Human Rights Day. The council also approved allowing Ma'atems to open gradually while adhering to the precautionary measures and approved the Central Bank of Bahrain's adoption of appropriate mechanisms to direct licensed banks to offer loans in coordination with the benefits company to ensure that the loan applicant owes a financial obligation before granting the loan. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, visited a number of schools to inspect the progress of work after the return of students. The minister was briefed on the precautionary measures followed since the entrance of students to their arrival at their classes. Schools in Bahrain witnessed the partial attendance of students for specific days in the week in order to implement the classroom study and distance learning system, while the other students continue to receive their remote education. During the visit, the education minister reviewed schools' initiatives and created that enhanced the ministry's efforts during these exceptional times. The minister affirmed that the ministry is keen on implementing the directives of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the necessity of the field follow-up on the educational process and of taking all measures to handle the repercussions of the pandemic professionally. Bahrain Defense Force has begun the training course for volunteers for the Reserve Force in the presence of the Royal Reserve Force Commander, Major General Munir Ahmed Sibai. The Assistant Chief of Staff for Human Resources, Major General Sheikh Ali bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and the Commander of Royal Bahraini Naval Force, Rear Admiral Mohammed Yusuf Al Asam. A number of volunteers from the civil sector will participate in the course, the Reserve Force for citizens, relatives of workers, and retirees in the PDF and the National Guard, both military and civilian. This comes as an implementation of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. This course has been well prepared with well-equipped classrooms, teaching aides and best trainers to achieve the set goals. It includes a theoretical and practical military studies to qualify the civilian volunteers in the best possible way.
the national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wider turnout of citizens and residents, the Ministry of Health announced that 349,970 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 216,826 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. And the Minister of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 6,373 with 456 recoveries, 682 registered new cases and two deaths. 273 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 392 are contact of active cases and 17 are travel-related. The deceased were 52 and 83-year-old citizens. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.